Hello, this is a trade site trade recap from August 6, 2013. That's a Tuesday. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal 11. I want to talk about a trade call we made today. It was an energy move uh, in a stock called Acorn, A-K-R-X. Let's take a look at the uh, intraday action. This is five minute bars on the on the stock. And you can see it gapped up. There's a lot of energy early. Uh, let me add uh, volume in here. And this is one of the reasons uh, that it came up on our screens is when you get volume in there. Look at that big volume spike late on uh, Monday and into Tuesday. So there was some activity, some action, and a gap, and there's a lot of energy. Now, the problem with energy is it can go either way, right? You get a gap up, could bring in a lot of sellers, could be people that want to squash the stock. It could be that you get a nice follow through uh, because it's of some sort of news. Uh, it could go either way. And so we're always on guard for these types of, of plays, but unless you have another technical reason, it's hard to figure out what an entry point might be sometimes on these plays. So let's take a look at what I did at the time. I pulled up the daily chart of the stock uh, after I saw that gap and saw the fact that the stock had um, had been moving the way that it was. And I saw that even though at this point it had gapped up and it was sitting over $15, which you can see this $15 area right here on the chart. I can draw you a, a flat line right here. Okay, that was It was already over that level. It basically ran right through that in the opening five minute bar. So there's one breakout. Then we had another one here at 1549 that we were looking at. So what do we do with this 1549 level? Well, this is a new high breakout on a stock. What does that mean on a stock that's trading a lot of volume and has a lot of energy? Well, let me tell you what it usually means. It's, it's one of two things, right? There's always a short interest on every stock in the market. There's always somebody out there who's short the stock for whatever reason. And if you can get a lot of energy and a lot of volume and you're heading up, that makes them nervous. If you can then print a new highs, you know that nobody is short and in the money at that point in time. They've been short and they're, they're losing money at this point in time. Nobody isn't if you're short and making new highs. And so what happens is either one of two things tends to happen. Either the shorts will cover their shorts on the new high, they'll panic a little bit, and this will catapult the stock higher, or they'll the sellers will disappear, you get like a vacuum, which will also allow the stock to run higher as it's pushing up on this volume. And they'll wait for a, a higher price later on in the day, and then they'll start shorting to bring their short average price up and maybe sell the stock up. So either one way, either way that works, a lot of times when you make new highs on a stock with a big energy gap, a lot of volume, when you hit that new high, you're gonna move higher. And that's what we were looking at today. So that 1549 level, was what we were watching. And here's the stock moving forward in bar replay mode. We're watching as it's approaching 1540 and it kind of plays around. Now there's this is bar that ends right at 1549. So this is about 45 minutes into the stock market. We were looking to go along this call and watch watch what happens. The very next bar blasts through. But now I'm gonna just jump ahead to later on in the day as it jumps all the way to 1640. Okay. See how that big, and look at the volume on that move, right? Either that's a bunch of people short covering, or that's a lot of buying on whatever's causing this energy. And, and if the shorters are out of the way and waiting for a higher price, that's, that's a quick way to get it. It went from 1540 to 1640. It's a pretty big percentage move, about 8 percentage move on a stock in about 20 minutes or less. Okay, and then from there, then they might start looking at shorten the stock. And what you'll see is as the rest, of the, the rest of the day plays out, the thing did retrace a bit. It found a lot of support down in that 1540, 1550 area. Okay, and then drifted from there, came back a little bit. So for us, that was a real nice play because we got in at that 1549, which is the new high breakout. That's what gave you this huge energy push, almost a point on a $15 stock to the high. We're piecing out as we go. We move a stop up on the last bit. We get stopped out in the money. Real quick, nice return for us. Basically just looking for an energy gap and a new high.